The cut for this recipe has to be shank. I really don't recommend using other kind of cut. Before we start marinating the beef, we need to soak it under water first. This is to get rid of the gamey smell from the beef. We need to soak it under water for around two hours. After that, we need to get rid of the water first, and then I'm going to use three fourth cups of soy sauce. But how many cups really depends on the kind of soy sauce that you use. If you are using a less sodium one, you can put up to a one cup of soy sauce. We really don't need to worry too much about whether it is salty enough right here, because we are going to put salt afterwards when we try to cook it. Seal it up and then put it into the fridge overnight. As you can see, this recipe requires a lot of work, and that's partly why I don't really like to make it too often. But the result is definitely worth it. So that's after a night. So prepare a pot now. If you have a Dutch oven, that would be great. But I don't have one, so I'm going to use the IKEA pot here. Pour everything into the pot, including the soy sauce you used. Now we move on to the very basics of Chinese braising. Lo, I list all the herbs and spices used in this recipe in the description below. So put all the spices into the pot. And then add water to it. Try to submerge the beef under the water. The beef will actually curl up during cooking, so you need to add a little bit more water. Here is going to be my version of this recipe. I'm going to put Chinese chili bean paste, but if you follow the traditional way of Chinese beef shank, you will actually put sweet bean paste here. But I guess I just like the extra hotness to it. Next, we're going to put something that's a little bit unusual. So these are fermented tofu cubes. You can definitely find them in all the Asian store out there. The way Chinese use it is a little bit like the Japanese with miso. They can be put into anything. And because they are fermented, they have some special aroma, special umami to them. I'm going to put about one to two cubes of these fermented tofu. 
it really depends on how much beef you want to make. As you see, I use a sieve here to mix everything well into the big pot. Because I didn't use sweet bean paste, so I put a little bit of honey. That would give the beef a little bit of sweetness. And now we're ready to heat up everything. Try to bring everything up to the point of boil. After you see all the liquid start to bubble, we need to put more aromatics in. Put at least one big onion. Again, the onions that I use are usually a little bit smaller, so I put a lot more in. And then put a little bit of ginger in. I use ginger paste here because I find them a little bit more economical here in the states. And then you can add salt to your taste. After that, reduce the heat to very, very low, and put the lid on, and then keep cooking it for two hours. Now that's two hours. I know that you guys probably can't wait and want to eat it right now, but I would really recommend you to chew it for at least five hours in the fridge. They taste much much better if served chilled. We usually use it. As appetizers, of course, it can be used in other dishes. Some people may say that it's basically jerky. I definitely disagree, because of all the spices, all the fermented goods like soy sauce, soybean paste, the chili bean paste. It's just an explosion of umami, explosion of different flavors in your mouth, and the versatility of this dish. I would pair it with noodle soup to make Chinese beef noodle soup, but that would be in a separate video. So remember to strain out and save the liquid. These are very precious beef stocks that we are going to use. In the Chinese noodle soup next time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.